Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>Good morning, everybody. It's June the 3rd on the Duck Adventure, and we're going to, uh, I'm starting off here inside uh, a little different than normal. Uh, <laughs> i got to rip the, the hatcher apart. The uh, the controller, as I said in last night's video, yesterday's video, at the end there, uh, is defective right out of the box. So i got to go do uh, uh, duck egg recon here real quick, and I'm going to get the eggs taken care of, and then I'm coming back in here to rip this apart. And i got to get it running today, because uh, today's Tuesday, and Thursday... Uh, the eggs have to go in here, so I need to get this running today so I can get about 48 hours uh, under his belt and uh, hopefully it works. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not too happy. This is unbelievable. I can't believe it. Uh, and it, you know, humidistat uh, has to go. You know, it would have been the it would have been the thermostat. At least I had a mechanical thermostat I could have used. But uh, you know, being the humidistat, uh, you know, I, I, this is crucial uh, that I'm generating you you know the right humidity and getting rid of the excess humidity. And of course, one of the controllers you know is dead right out of the box. So made in China. So I'm gonna go do egg recon. We'll do a quick. Uh, there's not many eggs. Yesterday was you know drop off it was less than uh, just over 22. Colby and Connor and I got. Um, um, it, it's bad. The, the molt is uh, egg production is way down. So let's go and uh, see what they've given us right now. It's actually late right now. Uh, yes, girl, I know. Um, it's actually right now. It's about uh, eleven o'clock. I'm actually late doing egg recon because I'm. I was online to see if I could find myself a you know a hydrostat uh, to control the incubator locally, and of course not. So, but uh, oh look at this. These two little ruins. Uh, <laughs> they're um, they've got this little nest right here. And, <laughs> oh, look at them hissing at me. You girls. Now, this is the first time they've stayed in here. I let them out for morning rush. I was here at 9 o'clock this morning, and I let them out. And uh, I came out here. It was pouring rain. It's actually gorgeous right now. It's about 30 degrees Celsius. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. All right, so we got two. Four. Six. I, you know, it'd be interesting, you know, you, you know, we can't leave them because, you know, we're just going to have too many egg, uh, too many ducks uh, flopping around here. But it would be interesting to see, you know, if those two ducks would sit there the whole time. Uh, so the egg uh, situation has dropped right off. Uh, the Pekings are losing a crap load of feathers. Um, and they're not dropping eggs. And we got crows everywhere, too. The crows are coming in and stealing the duck food right now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's wet. We've had lots of rain. Like I said, it's been pouring rain all morning. I don't see any eggs here. But I see, uh, I hear lots of... Oh, yeah, the, the crows are all in the bush there. They're coming in here. Actually, the crows have been coming down and walking around with the ducks. It's hilarious. Uh, but I understand the, the ducks, they're hanging around in here. They only got two in here right now. Yesterday, they, you know, they, almost the whole flock stayed inside the pen. So let's go inside and see what they've given us. Oh, look at the runes are coming back. I stole their eggs, eh? So now they're, they're pissed they're coming back. Poor little girls. I know. I took your eggs. Douglas, uh, he's going to put the little shoe on them there. Oh, all right. Let's see what they've given us inside here. I think yesterday was like 23 or 24 eggs. It was bad. That's, uh... We got, well, we got three of them are sitting on nests in here. So, what do we got? So, what that was that? Uh, that was two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I gotta be careful here. There, it seems that they're piling things up here. So, it was eleven. It's like they're they're covering the nests up and there's nothing in there. Huh? 11, 12. Oh, they're a 13. I mean, they're really warm eggs. 14, 15, and a lot of mosquitoes in here. Oh, boys. 16. It's crazy the mosquitoes are in here right now. What do I got? Oh, I got some. So that was 16. 17, 18, 19. This reminds me of what we were getting in the um, in the winter time. Oh, oh, a duck poop. I'm gonna take that out of here right now. 
See, they're starting to, uh, you know, when they're starting to defecate in the nest, uh, they're not in the, they're, you know, they're out of the, uh, the um, uh, what you call it, um, egg laying mode here i find uh you know that's a this winter you know how they just they you know they filled nests up with uh you know with feces and no eggs so and they're doing it again now what do i got here three more ducks oh, i can't remember what that was i think it was that was 19 i think it was 19 so 22 eggs i think it's 22 22 or 23 but there's a whole whack of chicken eggs today which is really bizarre because yesterday i only got one but that just shows you, like, egg production. Uh, I should get, like, 50 eggs I should have gotten um, in here today. And I got, you know, less than, I don't know, 24, 23 eggs, and that's it. And a weird chicken egg. Um, I don't know if it's a chicken or a duck, but it's it's white. And my chickens lay brown eggs, so I don't know. It, uh, it's like it's, you know, the ducks are learning, their bodies are learning again how to, like, that's bad. Learn again how to uh, lay eggs. That's like look at that. That's half a pail. Normally the pail's like this full. So that's it. I'm just wondering if there's anything in this back corner. This is bad. You know, at this rate, I'm I, our second wave in the incubator could be as little as uh, you know 600 eggs tops, absolute tops. Um, you know, actually our sec our third and fourth wave will total could be only 600 at this rate. You know. That's bad. Oh man, the molt. Talk about the molt screw thing. And I can't, you know, I'm not going to start incubating eggs in August, you know, or late July, or, you know, in July. This is too late. I need to uh, be doing this right now. So, if, if this drops off, you know, we, I'm not going to get the 2,000 ducks that I wanted for this short season we have here. I might, I might end up, be lucky if I end up getting 1,000 ducks. All right, well, let's go and see what Muscovies have given us because yesterday uh, they only gave us, uh, like, I think it was six or seven yesterday. So, oh, Doug's decided to come. He's a little bit late here on the, uh, the egg recon. He uh, decided not to come in and uh, help us out. And the Muscovies, I don't see any eggs. Uh, no, there's no eggs happening. I usually, usually, sometimes, you know, like I said, I found that one that dropped. Oh, no. Look at my garden. It's, uh, the lawn's taken over here. We're going to be doing some serious rototilling here shortly. As soon as we get this, uh, the hatcher done and we get the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the you know, get the ducks out of the way, I'm going to get onto the garden here. Got to get that planted. All right. What do we got in here? Okay, oh, we got a big Muscovy in here. Uh, what Mr. Drake's doing in here. Actually, he's the same one from yesterday again. Oh, oh three eggs. Three. Nothing there. I don't know what that big Muscovy's doing in here. Unless he's hiding from the other ones. That's possible. He might even be sitting on laying on an egg. Who knows? Oh, Muscovies. It's very strange that he's in here. What do I got? So that's three. That's six. Yeah, poor, poor yesterday. <laughs> um, I, I played a little, tr a mean trick on Connor yesterday. He he broke an egg, and I told him he killed a duck uh, because you know we're hatching ducks out of the eggs, and uh, he went home last night and he was sad because he had murdered a duckling. <laughs> it's like, I hey, poor little boy, I uh, mind screwed him over. He, uh, but I know one thing, he's gonna be a lot easier, a lot, uh, a lot, he's gonna be, oh, two more. He's gonna be a lot, uh, more careful with, uh, duck, with eggs now. He, uh, is not, he's, he, he has a problem of grabbing like two and three and four at a time. And his poor little hands, he, he, uh, he just can't, uh, handle that many eggs. So we got two, four, six, Two, four, six, eight. Eight eggs. That's a good haul today. They've picked back up on production. Yeah, it's a poor Connor. He he gets so excited helping me with the egg recon. And he grabs like three and four and five eggs at once. And he just wants to, you know, dump them all into the bucket. So yesterday, I actually, you know, uh, you know, killing that Muscovy duckling uh, in the egg. Um, 
you know, and uh, I told him to kill him, and then his poor, you know, b b it didn't help, you know, Colby uh, reminded him of probably about five times during the day that he killed a duck, so he went home last night, he was a, you know, confirmed duck killer, poor kid, but like I said, he's going to be a lot, uh, you know, he, he won't handle that many eggs again, he's going to be very careful in the, uh, you know, help me retrieve eggs, so, all right, well, I'm going to go and, uh, Take care of the water, I'm going to take care of my feed, and then I'm going to go and tear that hatcher apart and see if we can find out what's going on with that controller. And we got to get, like I said, I got to get it running today. So I'll give you a shot when I get it all apart in the garage. I'm just filling up the uh, the watering station here on the lawn, and I want to show you something. This uh, this uh, peaking uh, male, He's a, he, this is the small peaking male uh, of, the, of the bunch. And uh, I've noticed the last couple days he's hanging out with the he's hanging with the ruins. He's not hanging with his own type. Now I I've seen him be uh, getting chased by the bigger uh, peaking. So I think what's happening here is we're getting sort of a, a pecking order uh, between the races uh, established because we've got one ruined uh, male that is hanging with the peakings because you know he was getting picked on. I had separated them and now he thinks he's a peaking. He stays with them and now this small peaking male stays with the you know with the ruins which i think it's because you know he's bigger than the male ruins so that he can hold his ground and he can still have sex with the you know with the females uh where when he hangs around like over there with the uh the other peakings the males the big males uh pick on him so it's the only thing that makes any sense here we've got uh, uh we've got some you know loners that are breaking off and going with the other uh races to uh you know to have a, I guess, a peaceful life and still have sex without getting beaten up. All right, I'm gonna go back to my uh, work here so I can get uh, tearing that hatcher apart. I'm just coming into the pen here to do the uh, Muscovy water and look at the female uh, ruins are back, even though that I've taken all the eggs from them. <laughs> so I think the uh, the ruins. I don't know uh, if this is going to be a, a co-op nest. Oh, look at them. <laughs> They quickly don't like being around when Doug comes around the corner. But you know, it's Doug just, he just wants to sniff. Ducks, once well, they get something in their heads, that's it. So those two uh, females are obviously in the, uh, in, gone into brooding, so. <laughs> Doug, kicking them out of the pan. That's good because they're in here far too much the other day. I had a bunch of clover here in the yard, a big patch by the garden there, and I pulled it all by hand here. The Muscovies uh, won't be long. Um, after today's eggs, I think maybe two more days, maybe three days tops. They'll be. They have to be out of here uh, by Friday uh, because Saturday I want to. Uh, I want to be gutting the inside of the barn out and washing it out uh, because uh, basically, you know, we got Sunday's the the hatch day. Uh, you know, Monday it'll probably be Tuesday morning. Uh, I'll be taking the the ducklings out of the uh, hatcher and they'll be going into the barn so uh, I have to clean the barn out this weekend so that means these girls and boys are going to be free and uh, maybe we'll get some lake action happening well Doug and I are uh, busy working here I'm uh, <laughs> he's soaking wet because we went down to the lake to uh, bail the boat out and he went into the swamp and uh, I'm laying there on the ground unscrewing the uh, the power bar and of course he has to lay right tight against me uh, while I'm working he's unbelievable he's a Klingon dog um, but I don't want to give you a shot here I, uh, I designed this so it's a little easier to, uh, to work on. Uh, this whole unit comes out, and I'll show you here. I, I'm working uh, with one hand here because I'm, I want to give you a shot. I don't know if pivot heads are in the house, but everything I've done is all done with plug-ins. If you look here, nothing is hardwired, so it's all done with plug-ins so that I don't have to uh, do any uh, you know, screwing around. So now this uh, whole panel will pop out. And there we go, all the controllers are right there. So everything is one. So I can take this over to the shop and I'm gonna do a, get it on the bench and we're gonna do a, uh, a bench test and I'm gonna find out uh, you know, why that bottom uh, humidity controller is not working and if it's, I can't get it to work, then I'm gonna have to uh, bypass uh, the, uh, the high humidity exhaust fan and go with just a humidity generator and hopefully uh, uh, the over or the cooling fan will take care of the excess humidity. I'm hoping I'm uh, just can't believe this What a, what a you know, what is my luck or actually I have this luck. It's called made in China Well, what a way to kill three and a half hours um, I took everything apart uh, Rewired it all turned out the Chinese instructions Didn't match 
the English instructions. I some told me to go online and I found uh, a better wiring diagram which did not match the English translation to the Chinese garbage. So anyways, all the controllers are working. So I've got them uh, reinstalled here um, and rewired up properly this time uh, according to the right instructions. I even got the nice little lettering there. So we're going to install it and I'm going to get her fired up here and uh, we should have, I, sh I, say, I should have it fired up here and running in about probably about 25 minutes and I'll give you a shot once I get it going and I guess this will be the uh, well almost finished I haven't got the uh, the liners for the tray done but it'll be pretty close to the unveiling of the mega hatcher on the duck adventure I just uh, work on the uh, the hatcher here and we got a wicked storm blowing in but I came outside because I wanted to uh, open the gate so I've got the gate closed today and I want to show you something here look at this I'm gonna put my glasses on zoom in here but we've actually got a Muscovy, I mean a Muscovy of Peking, headed down to the lake on their own. The wind is crazy, we had a good storm coming in here and the ducks are all uh, just, you know, honkering down, like they don't even care. Ducks are unbelievable when it comes to storms, but look at this, they're down there, there's a whole bunch of them. There's that one guy, he's way down there. which is very strange for a peaking to be down there by himself that far down. It's crazy. The uh, I'll give you a shot of the sky here. It's a big storm. It's, uh, Cindy just put the laundry out. It's, uh, it's, they're, they're calling uh, tornado watch. I'll believe when I see it though. We don't get to meet tornadoes that often in this part of the world, but I'm just watching the duckies here um, on the swamp trail. Yeah, it's good. It's a good blowing wind here. Oh, oh, we got uh, the the crows. That's another thing too. Uh, the last couple days, the crows have been coming in here, living with the ducks. Now they're eating my duck feed, but uh, they're hanging around with the ducks. Oh, they're coming back. But today I closed the pen because I had enough. Yesterday they spent the whole day in the pen and uh, you know, it's just too much of a mess here. There's that one duck, he's, uh, he's really way down there. Oh, there's two of them down there. Oh, they're starting to come back. Doug's going down to check him out. But those two that are down there, they're not coming back. Doug's really interested in whatever is going on down there. He's been watching the swamp. The only duck's going to screw the duck up. Watch this. He'll walk, he walks by the ducks. He's gonna bring some ducks back here. Yeah. Oh, Doug. I know, hey, Doug. He's gonna go back down again. He doesn't, there's something going on in the swamp Doug's not too happy about. I don't know if it's the ducks, uh, the two white ducks that are farther down. The ducks should either veer to the left or the right. Because he normally doesn't storm right through the ducks. Well, he's going to push the ducks down to the lake. Well, no, you see, as soon as, the, as soon as he starts walking, the ducks stop walking. Actually, there were more than two that were down there. Look at them. There was a, what's what we got there? We got five? Four, it looks like four, there was four ducks down there. It wasn't uh, that one single duck we thought. Actually, it was five ducks. So they're, uh, you know, they're heading to the lake more and more and more. Give them time. We a little bit of a duck rush home here right now. I'm going to get back inside and keep working on this hatcher. I'm very close to uh, having it done. And uh, get it calibrated up and uh, 
run it for the next 24 hours or to, uh, actually run it for tonight and then tomorrow morning check on it and uh, uh, recalibrate it again. I'll give you a shot a little later. It's pouring rain right now and I just want to show you what a duck does. You get it to focus. Look at that. That's what a duck does in the rain. They stand in the rain just like when you squirt them with a uh, lawn uh, a garden hose. That's what the duckies do. And uh, some of them are actually having a little bit of nookie right now here. I'll just show you here. Having a hard time. I'm trying to stay out of the rain here because uh, it's coming up pretty hard. Uh, another way of having sex in the rain. But uh, the ruins uh, are off hunting somewhere. They took off. And they're um, they're around here somewhere. I saw them. They were headed uh, towards the front. When the rain started coming really hard, they were uh, going on a worm hunt. So. But that's what uh, ducks do in the rain. They stand there and just love it. Well, it was a serious thundercracker. I was in there working on the uh, the hatcher. I'm almost done calibrating it right now. I'm not going to show you until I get it completely done tomorrow. I'll do a final uh, introduction video on the hatcher. But I want to just give you a shot here. The uh, the ruins uh, are coming back. They were out front uh, during the rain hunting. And they've come back now and they're all excited. And they're like, it's so funny. Oh, they're cute little girls. But I don't understand why they just, they're so antisocial with the uh, the peakings now. I'm curious what's gonna happen here because we're uh, we're nine eggs away from the uh, Muscovies being set free. So, uh, you know, it depends on what we get here tomorrow. Uh, well, if we get nine eggs tomorrow, uh, the Muscovies are free. Uh, we'll be letting them out tomorrow and, uh, you know, I'll be, uh, you know, start making plans here to uh, clean the place out for the weekend. And I got some gardening work to start too. Now I've got my mega hatcher done. I'm really impressed with the hatcher. You're gonna love it when you see it. I'm uh, I'm really happy the way it turned out and so far it's coming up to uh, temp but I'm gonna let it go tonight. Uh, get the bugs worked out of it and then I'm gonna, tomorrow I'm gonna put the tray liners in it and I'll give you the, the final video, the introduction video to the, the mega hatcher for the uh, duck adventure on YouTube.